beautiful muses and welcome to another five minute Friday yes or no question for a tarot reading. So just for a reminder or for those of you that have not done one of these before, you're going to pick one of these four rocks. So this will be pile one, pile two, pile three, pile four, pyrite, opalite, flower agate, and euconite. So um, a few things to know before going into your yes or no, and it's up to you to create whatever question it is that you have a yes or no about. Um, but be sure to phrase your question so that getting a yes would be the positive or the outcome that you're looking for or hoping for. So the more positive outcome, just to make things more clear and cohesive. And so I don't have to kind of look at it so dimensionally um, in terms of how I talk about everything. Um, and then also just a disclaimer, sometimes these end up being like closer to seven minutes. The five minute is just sort of that approximation and you know, five minute Friday sounds nice. <laughs> so um, yeah, so anyway, I could go into seven minutes. I try to keep them close to five though. Um, and then also sometimes we get a maybe and I actually don't mind that. I think it definitely shows and confirms that we have co-creation ability and free will. And then last disclaimer, if you're coming here with a ridiculous question, such as, am I going to win the lottery? Just know this isn't your reading. <laughs> and, um, yeah, these questions should be things that you already have some sort of energy involved in this and are somewhat reasonable. So that being said, let's get into the breath work to help you feel into inspiration and higher self and um, guidance for picking which stone or pile you think has your correct yes or no message. So take a deep inhale in, suck that air up, 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 hold that in the space between your brow, suck in a little bit more to add pressure, and then with a loud exhale, ah, Exhale it out and opening up that crown chakra invites in some higher guidance. All right, uh, if you need more time, pause here. Timestamps are below, and I will see you guys in your readings. Hello, pile one. If this is you guys, you picked the pyrite stone. And just a quick intuitive hit I got off of this to help identify if you're in the right reading for your question was sort of like the sense I got was you guys already know the answer and you're just kind of looking for a quick confirmation. Um, if that doesn't resonate, maybe try a different pile or if you still feel like you're supposed to be here, um, yeah, stick with it. Okay, we're going to use the tarot cards that I've chosen. Um, I haven't seen any of these yet to see if we can tease out that yes or no. And I'm not going to do um, reversals in these readings. Oh, we got an Ace of Cups, which any upright Ace, well, and I'm not doing reversals anyway, but the Aces always mean yes in my book. So this is a clear yes, but then we also have the lovers. So lovers with Ace of Cups, this does feel like emotional in nature, potential, potentially relational in nature. If not relational, then it's something to do with sort of like your creativity or your um, emotional connection to your higher self and sense of just sense of clear identity and sense of self in general um, what's right for you right now like a deep alignment with yourself and i'm seeing through the four of discs here along with this being a yes that there is something you've been kind of sitting on tending to feeling maybe like you're needing to strengthen about your 
your values or your skills or your um, uh, material connection to life that is ready to it's it's strong like the message is like it's strong enough to come out here you need to um, start letting something in relation to this question um, be a little less uh, controlled or tied down or protected you need to be um, yeah like this cup you need to kind of let something flow out of you it's ready to come out we're also seeing like the emerging of the this like moth or butterfly him bringing these these coins out of like hiding the overflowing and then of course we have the lovers which is you know there's a big Sun here there's a lot of yeah just outward expression going on so it's time to bring something more out into the open it's strong enough it's ready okay let's see what the astrology has to say we've got first house beautiful 12th house and venus oh, i love venus coming out under the four of discs so definitely both have this like material relation so what I'm feeling here, I actually want to like switch these cards is I think that there's been some sort of transit or progression in your astrology chart where you've been ending some life cycle, maybe in relation to Venus, which can connect to the material realm. It can connect to relationships. It can connect to like an artistic quality. Um, there's something that's kind of come to like an end of a life cycle and a lot of beautiful inspiration, but also seeing of shadows has happened and you've just kind of surrendered into something. And that process is now coming to a close and you're about to step into sort of like a rebirth, um, new impulses new passions new um, sense of wanting to kind of create some order and assertion and make some decisions in life that puts you on some sort of new path that's really going to align you with your true sense of self here so really beautiful yeah um sort of like you know i love this arrival under first house it's sort of like uh something about your Venus is coming into this new arrival, this rebirth, and it's time to, yeah, kind of uh, cheers to that and put yourself out there and um, stop hiding away. It's time to come out of the, the cave. <laughs> okay, and then we've got Yanni, which I love that Venus to me is such a feminine planet. And um, so there's something, you know, and the, the um, you know, Venus also connects into, in a way, to the Empress card in the tarot. And then we've got Yanni. So there's something very fertile coming forward here, something beauty oriented, um, creative. Um, if it is relational, it's uh, on, you know, um, passionate. <laughs> yeah, so really cool. Okay, last two cards, we're going to look at these little tea leaf oracles. We've got the tree, affairs with your family, and crown, honor and respect will come to you. Interesting. So whatever this new start is, or whatever's either, um, whatever resonates for you, either the thing that's kind of coming into the end of its life cycle has to do with uh, family connections or part of it's like part of your um, if this is more in like the creative realm it might be something you just you know that's like part of your DNA there's other people in your family that have kind of been through similar things or have similar patterns or the new rebirth the new arrival the new impulses you're getting could be sort of connecting you deeper with your family, whatever sounds right to you. And then this is just nice to see honor and respect will come to you. So whatever this, this new impulse and path is, I think is um, really something to take seriously. I think it can lead you somewhere really 
uh, to do something really beautiful and big with your, your Venus energy, your creative energy, your relational energy, your financial energy. Yeah, so that is where I'm going to leave you. Beautiful yes or no question. Definitely a yes here. And yeah, I hope to see you in more readings. If this resonated, I always love the thumbs up, little comments. Definitely subscribe. And um, yeah, this is where I will leave you guys. Hello, Pile 2. If this is you guys, you chose the opalite. And just a quick intuitive hit I got from this stone was sort of like maybe this question is in relation to somewhere where you're at a bit of a crossroads and you really have to make a decision, but like saying yes to one thing means no to the other and vice versa type of thing. Um, just a, you know, uh, doesn't have anything to do with the yes or no, but sort of um, confirmation of whether you're at the right pile for you. All right, we are going to look at the tarot first to see if we can draw out a yes or no here. Got the moon, got the four of cups, and the prince of cups here. So, the sense I'm getting here is for right now, there's a no, but if you were to revisit this question in like a month or just later, that there could be opportunity. But for right now, there's something that's unclear. There's something that's sort of needing to deepen within you. You're needing to do a little bit of soul searching and allow yourself to be a little bit lost. Allow yourself to kind of like plant down at this crossroads and just sort of say, uh, I'm not choosing my direction right now because I don't have the clarity I need. Like I need more time. You can even voice that to the universe. I need more time. I'm not clear. And allow yourself to dream a little. Allow yourself to be a little lost. Um, that's Definitely what feels like, and even the Prince of Cups where I was sort of getting that sense that it may not be no forever, like maybe there is a yes at a later time, but at the same time, he's also a dreamy figure, and I feel like maybe this is you, and so that no for right now feels like even more pronounced of like you just need some time to kind of dream, to connect with your, your soul and your intuition and yeah, just, uh, there's something, yeah, there's something a little fuzzy, which is fine. And it just needs time and it just needs you to give it space and yourself space and to, um, do anything you can to kind of lessen stressors in your life. So you have space to just, yeah, um, be out in space. <laughs> um, okay. Let's see what the astrology says and we can get a little more info here. Got the ninth house exploration and that's what it feels like you're like on an inner journey and then Scorpio investigating yeah un going under the surface on an exploration to investigate what what's going on within you kind of thing there's something you're not sure about that you're it's like a mystery within that's kind of taking you on an inner journey just like be in that you know and then we've got an 11th house. I think the, the nature of what you're trying to get clarity about, what you're trying to connect to your soul about is sort of like um, uh, questions. Well, it's like bigger questions, questions about humanity, questions about the groups you connect with, questions about uh, your future, about um, finding, you know, feelings some sort of spark or hope for your future and it just needs time um, to get there it will come you just need to let yourself have some space and like detach from from reality a bit for you know just for you know a couple weeks or something okay and then last oracle card oops, before we get to tea leaves well, I guess they're Oracle too. Um, 
let's see we've got ether yeah and again that's like you're out in space things are nebulous allow yourself to just be on this this spacey inner journey um things will come into focus when they're ready yeah so for now it's just like chill i think <laughs> um okay let's see what the tea leaves say dealings or relations with an older man great it's time to go out and have fun maybe that is another aspect to this like drop the question for now like let go of it just you know do these you know allow yourself to dream allow yourself to have fun allow like lighten up be spacious lighten up drop the question for now uh, i'll let whatever older man means to you be that uh, it could be very different for each of you um yeah so this is where i'm going to leave you guys it's uh yeah, it, a no for now, maybe not a no forever, but a no for now. But um, the guidance is just to kind of, yeah, allow yourself to dream and play a bit. All right, this is where I'm going to leave you guys. If this reading resonated, I always appreciate, you know, thumbs up and uh, comments and subscriptions, all the good stuff. So, yeah, hope to see you in more readings. Hello, pile three. If this is you guys, you pick the flower agate. So just a quick intuitive hit I got off of your stone. Nothing to do with the yes or no, but possibly a bit of a confirmation of if you're at the right pile is that you're very feeling very present and deliberate about wanting, you know, an answer here. And uh, another little thing I got is that you, you probably are already being very decisive, but this will help your question to be, you know, uh, stick with that energy of being very decisive and clear. Okay, so we're going to use the tarot cards first to see if we can tease out the yes or no, and then we'll get a little bit of guidance and insight from these other oracle cards. Um, ooh, Nine of Swords. Ten of Wands and the Hierophant, uh, which definitely makes sense that you're wanting uh, answers right now. There's definitely something you're burdened by, anxious over, uh, possibly even giving you sort of headaches or nightmares or, um, yeah, definitely some, some anxiety and like caring too much of a load um, and this is sort of saying that this other card that there is guidance and help out there for you so to me this is a maybe it's sort of like if you find the right guidance then this can be a yes. If you can't find something or someone that feels like they have um, direction and guidance and um, uh, experiential, wise, um, even mentoring or insight to give you, if this feels vacant, if this isn't present if you can't find this then this would be a no if you can find yeah that there's if you can find someone that has wisdom for you around what this question is it can be turned into a yes so as it stands it's a maybe um, but there's the potential of you it's like you can find the right key oh and we see two keys under here too and two people um, so maybe there's two pieces of wisdom, of guidance, of information available to you if you look and they can help you get the yes. But if you don't put that effort in and that work in, then, then I think this anxiety and overburdening is kind of going to swallow this a bit. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, if you do a little work, if you're serious about this, it, there's some answers for you that will help turn this to a yes. Okay, let's see what the astrology says. So Aries, yeah, it's like being assertive. You need to be assertive about finding some wisdom, some guidance. 
um, that can really give you that clarity and a, like a direction that you're looking for. So transits and climate, um, and then progression and journey, kind of similar, very similar things. Um, there's a timing thing here, and so A, be assertive about trying to find that guidance and wisdom you need that gives you clarity and direction, but also be aware of like right timing and divine timing. There will be moments when those things open up and are sort of like right in front of you and clear. It's just like you have to be assertive and like say, oh, this, yeah, this is that thing that reading talked about. There's this thing has a piece of information I need and it's the right timing and it's here right now and it won't be here tomorrow. Like, so like be quick about getting it. And then also there's like some sort of corner you're about to turn in life um, that will also open you up to certain wisdom. So there's definitely the potential of the yes. It's just like being patient um, and aware and assertive once you see, feel timing, bringing the right pieces together for you, the right wisdom, advice, whatever it is. Um, so yes, a potential yes, but you have to do, you have to be part of that yes. And then we've got the void. So that's what I'm feeling it feels like to you right now. And this is where the anxiety and the burden's coming from. It's like you're doing all sorts of work. You're putting in so much effort. You're spinning wheels right now. I think you need to like uh, chill because it's all going to not for the moment. You need to wait and be patient for this timing and these, you know, pieces of information, these pieces of wisdom, these um, uh, openings of some sort. But like right now, you need to kind of chill. I think um, it's it's waiting for divine and right timing. If you push and push and push and don't kind of just get present and still and wait and and uh, yeah this could ain't it it's still it's still a maybe this this is showing that there's more of a potential of this sort of like not working unless you really participate in a patient way uh, patient and present way okay last we have some uh, tea leaf oracles pig beware of greed and that's yeah where I'm feeling like um, stop trying to make things uh, around this question more than they should be or trying to make them bigger you know with the ten of wands here like bigger than they need to be uh, how can you simplify this too like it's bigger as is something's too big about this you need to simplify it and recognize where you are in in a certain like level or phase of whatever your question pertains to or in your life or in your development or something like be at where you're supposed to be at don't try and push so far beyond your boundaries that you collapse under the pressure and the weight and then boot, increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goals. So it's like, yeah, take things off your plate, scale down, minimize, and then be really assertive and present to and active towards that simplified path. And, um, you know, be present and aware of these pieces of wisdom that are ready to come through for you and these timings so yeah I mean this is a confirmation that things are possible achievement is possible here it's yeah but a lot of this depends on how you work with this so yeah anyway this is where I'm going to leave you guys um you know work towards that yeah simplify things wait for right timing um put in in the effort once those timings come like be assertive about yeah about that and about simplifying things here
All right, this is where I'm going to leave you guys. I hope this resonated. If so, I always appreciate you feel supported by the little things on your side, like giving me a thumbs up or a little comment or subscribing. All right, I hope to see you guys in more readings. Hello, pile four, last pile for your yes or no. You guys picked the Euconite stone and just a quick intuitive hit I got off of this is, and not meant to go towards the yes or no, but just sort of some confirmation if you've come to the right pile, um, that either you or your attitude toward this question, there's sort of um, like a, a positivity, not necessarily an optimi optimism, but just sort of like a positivity. Um, and kind of a go with the flow a bit as well. So yeah, okay. We are going to first use the tarot to see if we can tease out a yes or no, and then we'll look into the oracle for some context and insight. And I'm not doing reversals in this. So seven of discs, 10 of swords, four of wands. Um, this feels ultimately like a yes, but it's going to be a minute. <laughs> I think, um, I think you're hitting a wall. You've been working really hard, <clears throat> sorry, cultivating a lot of things, putting in a lot of effort, trying to make headway in life. And I think you're at this moment of like, it's funny, even though like I felt sort of some positivity around you, I think you're hitting sort of a brick wall. You're kind of like uh, expended all available energy and resources. Um, and I think that's why you're just like, ah, whatever, like I, um, whatever this question pertains to, you're just kind of like throwing up your arms, like nothing's working, but it is working. And the reward is coming soon, it's just patience. So there's a yes here, but the yes is like, you need to move through this phase of sort of like having hit the wall. And it's like, as soon as you just kind of like, uh, like relax and like um, <clears throat> not give up, but just kind of like, I'm, I'm done sort of trying so hard. Like the minute you stop trying, something natural congeals and all of a sudden it's like you get it and you're more relaxed about it. And I think you're already there because I got that sense in you already of like, eh, um, you know, like it is what it is, you know, um, at least there's that like positive attitude in you, like, cause there's been so much work to whatever this question is. It's sort of like, uh, no use crying over spilled milk. I think you're a very resourceful person. So you're just like, well, if this isn't working, I'll try something else. Um, you know, uh, life isn't worth like dwelling over the negatives here. And so you're like right on the cusp of that moment of not necessarily giving up, but just being like, um, yeah, this is, you know, I'm, I'm just not going to try so hard. I'm just going to be and be with this question and be with, you know, putting in the effort that feels uh, natural and more soulful rather than um, expected or conforming or something. And then it's like all of a sudden there's just this massive breakthrough. And you're, I just think you're like right on the cusp. Okay. Let's look at the astrology. You've got 10 paths. So this may have to do with career. I kind of got that sense already. Neptune. Yeah, it's like been nebulous. Like you're just like nothing, <laughs> putting so much in and there's just like no return. And I don't understand. It's like very confounding to you. It's like everything's going into some black hole and there's some illusion around this. So you're just like, I don't get it. Like, I don't, like whatever. <laughs> 
type of thing but then we got Capricorn here and like you will achieve it's just sort of like getting over this hump or is like dropping into and and accepting Neptune type energy where instead of trying so hard you just uh, become a little bit more receptive and allow inspiration to flow through you like try stop trying to make something be what you want it to be and just let some things flow and then all of a sudden you reach this breakthrough and summit and your achievement so yeah okay and then solar yeah you're you're almost to the summit for sure like stay with the positivity stay with even i said it wasn't necessarily optimism but get some optimism drop into flow relax a bit let things be a little bit more organic and more receptive so less less effortful kind of just um allow things to come to you be grateful for what is there it kind of generates this flow of of, of expansion and, and magnetizing um and just be in your center yeah okay last little cards Oh, I love this, and that's totally what I felt. The most difficult part of a situation is over. You're like steps away from the summit. And then caterpillar, things will not always be this way. A change is coming. Yep, exactly. You're almost there. Stick in there. Um, chill out a bit and be more um, flowy. Be more... Um, uh, organic rather than um, contrived or something and it's just like yeah we'll just come together all of a sudden there's a breakthrough so yeah exciting great for you guys um, so fun yes all right this is where I'm going to leave you guys if this resonated I always appreciate the things the thumbs up little comments and definitely subscriptions so all right, I will see you guys hopefully in more readings in the future.